It's been raining on and off for a few days now and it's still overcast. But it looks like there's a bit of a break in the weather now. So let's go and take this thing for its first test drive. <laughs> But all things considered, it's actually not that bad. Uh, got to keep in mind that I'm driving here on a dirt road that's full of holes. So that will obviously amplify every single rattle. <laughs> but yeah, she's going pretty well. I've, I'm quite happy actually. It's everything. Uh, Bottle. Everything seems to be working fine. I'm only in second gear here now, so I can't really get her up to speed. Horn works. For the next step, I think we need to get it to the tar road so we can get some speed up. Well, I think before I do that, I just want to check out a few things. Um, cast my over, eye over the engine, etc. Well then, we made it back to the shop in one piece and nothing has fallen off that I know of. <laughs> yeah, you know a bumpy road like that, it's not fun to drive but it's actually a, a good shakedown. Makes you pick up rattles and stuff and there were actually very few rattles. Um, okay, the truck's got no sound insulation in, no carpets. Nothing like that and it's actually not too noisy. I can't believe it. <laughs> so this point right here is actually the lowest point. It's lower than there. I mean you can see I can just get my fist in there. And I did catch here a few times. Um, these bumps are not from now, that's from previous times. So obviously other people have done the same thing. But all things considered, if you drive on a normal road I think it's acceptable. 
if it starts bugging me too much, I can always raise the front of the car a little bit by just adjusting the torsion arms. But I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. If we scrape every now and again on the dirt roads, so what? <laughs> make, some, make a couple more dents here. So you're on the driver's side, that's, uh, <laughs> I think that's a fresh one. I need to go and find a hammer and just bang it up a little bit, I think. <laughs> How wide is the first? That's how much ground clearance I've got here now. <laughs> so if you look from here, there I've got a, <laughs> a first and three fingers. And here I've got a first. And here I've got a first and one finger. So this is my lowest point. Um, yeah, you know what, if it keeps on bugging me, I'll just cut it off. Here's another little issue, bit of an oil leak there, but it looks like it's just the back end of the tappet cover gasket. So it's not a big deal, I think I will be able to fix it easily. So I'm not too stressed about it, I just have to do it. <laughs> hey, don't laugh at my upholstery here man, I just threw in a piece of old foam so I can have a little bit of padding here. <laughs> Somewhere down the line I will probably come up with something a little bit more decent. sure I'll be able to get in there by him. His road's bad. I mean, you, you need good ground, ground clearance to get in there. Maybe we should go find out. See if Wayne is home. I wonder if I'll get over this hump here. Yeah, it's a duck my caught there. <laughs> so we're giving the truck's bottom a nice little wipe here. Flip up number plate must be doing its number right now. <laughs> now we are arriving at the homestead of Wayne, the barefoot bush mechanic. I wonder if he's here. Ah, I 
think someone is arriving. The man is home. <laughs> How's it going? Now, let's try with a tar road then. See if we can get the speed up a bit. <laughs> stuck behind a timber truck and you can't get past in these tight spots so with, with all the twists and turns on this road I can't take the chance to get past him so I'm gonna have to wait until we get to a straight patch oh, slowly big bump Couldn't touch! <laughs> Tell you one thing, she's getting a good shake up with these roads. So if anything wanted to fall off, it would have fallen off by now, I think. <laughs> I'd have to chase a few rattles. Well, she hasn't missed a beat. Almost back to the workshop. So it's a very rare occasion for this bay to be empty. There's nearly always something standing here and as you can see here on the floor many cars have been sweating horsepower here <laughs> over many years and that spot you can see it's wet and that spot that's the contribution from my little Nissan Chevy whatever we want to call it <laughs> um, I actually know this one is from the oil pump it's got a nut on the bottom and that copper washer needs replacement and I think this one is from that tappet cover leak. So we should be able to solve this one quickly. And this is not a massive leak. It's a very slow sweat over time. So I'm not going to stress too much about it right now. But we'll see if we can sort it out down the line. Hey, I reckon we can call that first test drive a win. I mean, she goes well enough for a little four banger who hasn't even had a tune up yet. That little engine is still exactly the way it was when I took it out of the donor truck. I haven't even opened the distributor cup to look at the points yet. Brakes are good. 
no issues there. Uh, what else? Couple of rattles. <laughs> I'll sort that out. <laughs> I'll try to sort that out. And those smaller oil leaks, we'll fix that as well. Um, the only thing that concerns me a little bit is she feels a little bit loose on the steering. When I did the mechanical check, the tire at the end seemed okay, so I think it might just be towing. So I'll have a look at that. Apart from that, she went great. I'm very happy. So thanks for coming along for the ride. I enjoyed it. I'm toying with the idea there's a small coffee and car or car and coffee event going down in a few days time. So I'm considering going down there for a little shakedown cruise. Let's see how that's going to turn out or if it can even work. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a lucky one.